So back in the early days of my channel, I guess you could say <laughs> it's still in the early days, but back in February, uh, usually February 19th, when I uploaded the video called He Lied His Whole Life, pretty much talked about an ex-friend that I had who now is going to be arrested, right? He's getting arrested because he lied his whole life. Now you're probably thinking, how can someone who's just lied get arrested? Like there's no way that that's possible. Well, I will tell you, give you a little brief rundown on what happened, on what's happening to him and what is happening to our friend group. So essentially, this friend, right, we'll call him Nathan. Nathan lied his whole life, right? Even as kids, we he told stories and he never wasn't seemed very troubled. He didn't seem like a very troubled kid when we were young. I mean, he had a pretty decent life uh, growing up. You know, we all did. We were not, nothing was uh, keeping us from living that life that was comfortable, especially since we were still kids. And, you know, we, we all grew up in, in relatively good homes. So I can't say that it's been bad. But for some reason, he thought it would be okay to lie. And so it started off when we were kids. He lied, you know, as a kid, and he told stories, and everyone kind of just, whatever, you know, it, it's a lie, it's a story, whatever, it, you know, fun, haha, -ha, funny kid joke. And then eventually it continued, right? It just carried on and it carried over and over again until eventually he got older, and then he did the thing that we really didn't expect him to do because me and my best friend, we decided to confront him about his lying situation. We told him, hey man, you know, it's not right for you to keep telling stories. We are almost adults. You lying like this and telling stories is not healthy. It's gonna be a really rough time for you. You're gonna have rough experiences and people are not gonna appreciate or respect you if you keep lying. He ultimately agreed and said, yeah, you're right. It's definitely not something I should be doing and I need to take a break. I, I need to rethink about my decisions and you know, I need to really focus on my life. So after he said that, we assumed, well, okay, he's, he's got uh, clarity now. He can finally make the decision on not to lie and he'll just do his thing because, well, it seems silly for you to continue lying even though you've been called out, right? Well, after he got called out, maybe about a week in, uh, right back at it, right back to the stories, right back to the lies. And me and my best friend, we didn't do anything about it, right? We were like, okay, well, whatever. You know what? He didn't learn his lesson and eventually we're just going to let him fall pretty much we're gonna let him fall and he's gonna land he's gonna land head first on some pavement and he's gonna scrape his face a little bit but you know what that's that's how life is sometimes people don't learn by verbally warning them they got to be in the situation where they're gonna get presented with a challenge and boom it happened it finally happened but i'm very like ashamed that it had to happen this way because he could have easily avoided this problem now i've had to really think about this for a while because this has been going on for years right this whole problem has been going on for years on end and now he's finally been caught up with something what do i mean by something i mean he's been caught up uh doing some pretty heinous things like some heinous acts that most people really wouldn't do he's he was doing it like and i i don't mean like the usual well what a usual person who lies does you know tell stories and then make stuff up and then blame it on others no no he would um he would take pictures of people, right? I'm just gonna like be as less detailed with it as possible because I really don't wanna put gross images in anyone's head, but I'm just gonna say outright that he was a gross person, right? I, I'm just gonna leave, he took pictures of females. I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'll let you guys kind of figure out what he did. Now, if you're over, if you're under the age of 18, you know, um, it, just think that it was bad, bad things he did. Uh, regarding photos and what he did with photos and ultimately he's a creep right he, we found out that he was a creep and it was very disturbing to find out that he was a creep and to find out that he continued to lie his whole life I mean he's the same age as me and I'm embarrassed to have a friend I mean an ex-friend now who did all these things and who is just known to be a, a disgusting creature, right? I mean, that's the only way I can put it is a disgust, disgusting cretin. Nobody wants that person around. It's, it's awful. But he was caught. He finally got caught. He was reported by someone uh, close. They told him, they told on him pretty much. They said, hey, you know, this guy is a creep. He's been a creep for a while. He's lied. He's made up stories. And uh, there are a few things he's done that would get him a charge that would lead him to pretty much a, a really bad and devastating future ahead. And 
we tried to help him way before, years before this, of course. We tried our best, and we tried to get him uh, uh, help. We, you know, we recommended him, hey, talk to us. You know, Please be verbal about your issues so that we can help you figure this out, and you don't have to do this alone. He never said anything. It seemed like he was okay. And if you go back and watch that He Lied His Whole Life video, uh, I go more into description about what he did regarding the uh, lies that he told, right? There's some stories on there about him doing some things, and those stories only are... I'm just going to leave those for that video because that's the whole point of the video. But this one is supposed to be a follow-up that he finally got caught. He got caught up with it, and he's going to go ahead and they're going to arrest him because, well... They offered him a statement. They said, do you want to make a statement and try to prove your innocence? And he, he just denied it. So he's going to get arrested. And when he does, he's going to be labeled as a sex offender. Now, I know that is a big thing, right, to put on somebody. That's not a label that I'm giving him. It's not a label that I chose for him. It is a label that he chose for himself. He didn't have to do it this way. He, he could have easily asked for help and gotten out of the problem he could have sought uh, help and guidance from not only his friends, but prof prof professionals. He could have gone to a professional and said, hey, I'm not feeling good. You know, I'm doing some kind of weird things. And I need to get help before it, you know, tarnishes my reputation and, and kills my friendship with the only, really, quite frankly, I think he, the, we, my friend group, is the only friend group that he had uh, that we were close to him with. So... The fact that he's just throwing it away for this disgusting behavior and a life that he can never truly be forgiven for, at least on earth by people, I mean, I'm not going to forgive him because what he did was heinous. It was awful, right? It's something that should never happen to anybody. And the fact that I knew this guy and I was best friends with him, it was so terrible. It was like, I, I myself feel embarrassed because I know him, right? And I've, I've known people who were like, oh yeah, I met a famous person or I know this famous person, you know, and we're, he's a really good guy. She's a really good person. Um, no, for me, it's just, oh, I have this friend who did these disgusting acts and it looks bad on me because it looks like I'm the friend with the, with the cretin, right? And that's not, that's, oh my God, dude. You have no idea how upset all of us were. The whole friend group was furious. Once we found out what he was doing, everybody was on his case. Of course, he just pretty much ghosted us, right? And, and just disappeared after a little while and just didn't say anything about it, didn't ask for help, didn't ask for clarity. And we did try to confront him again, but you know, he played it off and pretended that he didn't even hear or see us, which was kind of funny, right? Um, there's more context, like I said, in the He Lied His Whole Life video. It's like my second video on my channel. Um, I try to refrain from making drama-related videos because I feel like drama is just toxic and it's not something fun. But I feel like since this is a personal kind of subject and now that it's all been finalized and that he's actually legitimately in trouble now and he's been caught with red-handed, I feel like I can openly talk about this. And by the way, guys, um, I don't want to disclose his name just for the sake of privacy because I know that there are people out there who are willing to do some crazy things to people who are like him, right? As much as I despise him and I hate him, I don't wish death upon him, right? And I, that's like a big thing that uh, me and my friends were trying to not wish on him is uh, we wish, like, we don't wish death upon anybody. I, as much as we hate him, you know, we, we hate him. Like, we hate him with our gut. But wishing death upon someone is just not cool. Like, even if they're the worst person in the world, you know, you, you just you shouldn't because ultimately they will get what's coming to them one way or another. And he finally got caught up. He finally got in trouble, and now he's going to suffer, and he's going to pay the price for it. So I'm going to let that happen. We're going to sit there and watch it happen. Um, yeah, I really didn't want to make this video, but at the same time I was pretty excited to, to finally talk about this because it is a very tough matter, tough subject to cover. And I know that everybody in my friend group is so relieved and so happy that he's finally getting caught and he's in trouble, right? Like, it's justice. I mean, do we want him to be behind bars forever? Honestly, yeah. I mean, that's better than just, like, 
having somebody just shoot him outright. I mean, he was a friend. I did care for him. So there is a little, little teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny little bit, little tiny bit of like soft spot. But I would never forgive him for what he's done because he didn't even bother to consult with us to see if we were going to be okay with it, right? You know, like you, when, you, when you do something stupid and you, or something dumb and you're like, Maybe before I do this thing, I should probably ask someone close and figure out if maybe it is a good idea. No, he didn't even try to help himself. He didn't try to help us by telling us what was going on. He just did these things, and he's probably been doing it for years. So, yeah, that's the uh, second part to that video. It's going to be a while before I upload another drama video, hopefully. Jeez, I truly hope not. I really hope I don't have to upload any more of these. But thank you all for watching. If you all like this video, uh, hit that like button. If you guys didn't like this video, hit that dislike. And I honestly, I might even be mad if you dislike the video because I it's it, you could get you guys can dislike the video for him. Like, I, I you you dislike his actions. Dislike hit that dislike button. Like honestly, he, <laughs> I uh, put a comment down too. Say like, you know, have you ever had this experience before? Have you ever met somebody who was just this creep? Ugh. Anyways, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.